die. Oh, no. It be nobody business. They don't gotta know what we about. Oh, no. It be nobody business. <laughs> But let's talk about Eva Nelson now. Hmm. <laughs> Where do you want to start from? The fact that she hit the pregnancy, uh, which I thought was great. Like, I gave her, like, uh, thumbs up for you it. Know, you know, I know a lot of people who've hit their pregnancy. I mean, my co-host, Eko Adewo, hit her hit pregnancy. Hit her. I remember that as well. Um, and came out with it. a beautiful cover for Genevieve mm -hmm. magazine. Mm -hmm. And people were like, wait, she was pregnant? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I just sometimes, I feel that is what you need to do. Your private life needs Nadia to be private also hit regardless. Nadia also She's still hiding her, her kids <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We still haven't seen their the faces. faces. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. So true. So, I, I, I mean, what to say about Eva Nelson? I, there's one side of the story that says she's a husband snatcher and a whore. That's breaker. what I want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. Because, again, that was something that, you know, people really lambasted her for. Yeah. And it was she, quite seems, she seems quite unbothered on social media, though. I'm sorry, well, but listen, these that's things will get to you whether you like it or not. Because based on, on Snapchat, I mean, she's taking videos yeah, you, with you a man. Yeah, you want to make yeah, the world believe. You know when I realized that, you know, Yvonne was really bothered by the things that have been said about her and she must be battling something emotionally mm. was when Jifa Gumashi mounted the stage. I wasn't there. I the watched girl the video concert, and yes. I was so emotional seeing what was happening. Mm. You know, when the camera pans um, was on her, the reaction on her face. And if you watch the video, when she mounted the stage and Jifa Gumashi finally hugged her, she kept saying, Thank you. Thank you yes. She said, thank you over thrice. Mm. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You know, this is somebody who is telling us that she's strong, but deep inside her, mm. she might be, you know, facing something. She but might I mean, be not, listen, asking herself even a lot of questions. When she turned 30, she mm. had an interview, I think, with Sammy Forsen on mm. Live FM. And she revealed that she was, she was sort of depressed, mm. if I could use that word, because she was unmarried at that time. And she yeah. really wanted someone, you know, to share her life with. That's true. You know, so I guess that that had been on her heart or in her heart well, for a long time to find a partner. I, I don't think that even if you wanted to find a partner, I'm not sure that she planned it this way. I would agree with that. Mm. I'm not sure she planned it this way because, you know, no, Yvonne knows Ghanaians. She, yeah. knew, she knew that, you know, for after doing some of stuff videos, she knew the kind of people we had. So, but I didn't think also that, you know, getting rid of the baby was, you know, anything that she would I'm think of. I'm glad she didn't. Exactly, yeah. you know, because there are lots of people who would have done that. And so for me, I'm so proud of it. And I'm even more proud of her friends. Because when the news broke that she was pregnant, it was all over the blocks. But Belinda, they uh, Francis, they are people. And it was amazing how it. they said, oh, she's not pregnant. Mm -hmm. They said it with so much you confidence. Know, like, confidence you know? that you would believe. Though, I'm, I, don't, I don't particularly feel like...